guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel then my name is Sonal Maharali and I am a Kenyan luxury fashion and shoe lover or blogger or vlogger uh, but I mainly uh, focus on luxury content on here and a lot of other lifestyle content as well as well as lookbooks fashion styling and so much more so if you're not new here then you may have already watched this video which got such a ton of reviews and views everyone had that bit to say which is okay but I recently just cleared out my shoe closet so I wanted to share uh, the updated version of my shoe closet with you guys I have no space at the moment at all for even a pair of shoe there are two or three spots that are empty but because I'm traveling uh, I have packed those shoes to take with me I'm also hosting a mega sale I'm not sure if you will see this video before the sale happens or not but if you're in Nairobi the sale will be taking place uh, on the 30th of June so do email me and go to my Instagram to know how you can email me and confirm your attendance now my shoes are not color coded at the moment they're just the way I like to keep them so yeah welcome to my updated shoe closet video and yeah let's get close so guys on this corner of my shoe closet is uh, my special shelf for all my sweet memories with my baby girls just some special memories and pictures uh, that's one of my pregnancy that's Elia's second birthday right there so the award I won for being best uh, female personality best uh, Kenya for 2018 another picture of baby Elia on her first birthday it's a book album and then a picture at her birth and up here we have um, a crown of her second birthday a crown on her first birthday and another hat that she wore for her um, I don't know was it her first birthday and there's a picture of me at the back from my wedding day so. so guys right behind me you will see this huge mirror that I absolutely loved and if you note know the difference I'm going to link my first uh, closet tour right here so you can go back and watch it right here was a table which I have since changed and kept this gorgeous little um, uh, window seat uh, and just my favorite cushions I do keep changing all these this is very special it was given to me in, on my birthday from a fan from Mombasa I just love this mirror it kind of gives this room uh, a larger than life uh, appearance this room is not small it also used to be my baby's nursery so you can imagine it's not a small below this I had created an open shelving area to store my flat shoes and that's what I'm about to share and below this mirror is where I hold all my flat shoes uh, such as Chanel you can see some Gucci uh, Prince Towns there or no those are a Gucci Ace trainers then we have some Louis Vuitton espadrilles and then on this side you will see my Hermes slippers you will see my Chanel espadrilles my gorgeous Balenciaga white boots and I just like this space for my go-to shoes so guys last time I'm not sure if I could show you properly what I have on the ceiling you can see that gorgeous wallpaper right on the wall there that what I left as was it in my baby's nursery and then on the top I have this gorgeous mirror that I'm not sure you could see properly as well and uh, I just wanted the effect of a mirror instead of a chandelier hanging down and I just thought it's a beautiful accent to have as well so hopefully you can now see all that and as you have seen I have tried to clean up a lot of my shoes this little gorgeous blue a purple elephant that you see here is a gift from my dear sister Nisha for Ellie and as you will see I love elephants and you will be seeing many uh, elephants around this room as well this is the opposite side of my closet and again if you'd like to watch the previous video and how I rearranged things this was the table that was on that side which you saw with a large mirror but I put it here because there's a huge window right here and I have this gorgeous white blind at the back of me I would love to film makeup tutorials right here where there is natural light coming through as you can see above me you will see lots of Christian Louboutin boxes uh, I have collected so many boxes over the years but recently when I was doing the clear out I had to literally throw so many out and just keep a few 
Also, I have some other boxes on the right of me that are very special, so I've kept them for now. Oh, and another thing, this gorgeous chair that... Uh, many did not like this chair, but I absolutely love it. It's custom made for me, and the fabric uh, we imported from... I'm sure it was the... what was it? It was something, Designers Guild. It's a chair that is fit for a queen, of course. And I just love sitting on this chair, it's super comfortable. So guys, this here is another gorgeous purple accent proof that I have on a seat right in the middle of this closet because this is where I like to actually sit down and wear my shoes when I'm leaving the house. And I really like it, it's a color that I picked myself to just brighten up this closet because I wanted my closet to be in white. It is my favorite color, as many of you know. But I feel like the purple just gives it a lot more richness and it's very royal, that's what I can call it. Purple is for royalty. So guys, also, um, this table is very special to me. It is custom made for me. It holds all these drawers where I keep all my filming equipment and my special books and lots and lots of um, uh, shoe bags and things like that. And on the top, I will bring you in closer. On the top, I do have my favorite picture of I and Christian when I met him. There you are. Oh my god, that memory was the most beautiful one. And this right here is the gorgeous mirror that um, I was showing you guys earlier, right there. And then we have a gorgeous marble elephant. And then, of course, my baby shoes. These are so special, the pearls. The kind of accents I have here, memories. And then the lamp that I talked about, I have some Louboutin boxes. This is my keychain holder. This was my passport holder. I am giving away some of this. I'm already building a giveaway for you guys. So this is one of the giveaways. And on this tree right here, I have more books. This is a book by Cartier and the history by Cartier. And then I have Louboutin right here. And I have another Cartier book. So it was sent to me by Marisin Lux. These are real rose flowers. These are real rose flowers, guys, that can last up to one year. So I love white, and this is what they sent me for Mother's Day. Very, very pretty. And I told you I have this little cube that turns around my dustbin there. And then, yeah, this also moves around. It has wheels. And then this is. A uh, very strong glass top right there. And then that's it for this side. A really beautiful black. My Christian Louboutin boxes. These were for the Sabia Saatchi collection. The other two and those. And then this clock was a gift from Amritsar. Because I bought lots of shoes from them. Uh, Indian shoes. And that's a clock. And this is just a coat I really like. I was also talking about some boxes that I do keep at the moment. Are these. These are from... Uh, of obviously Gucci uh, recent shoes that I just bought but my favorite is the box at the bottom on this side of the wall guys are some of these paintings or drawings I picked up while I was in New York so you can take a closer look at these I love this a woman just you know taking her doggy on a walk and then we have London of course my favorite city right there and moving on we have Shoes. Guys, this is the other area of my shoe closet, which I will take you really close to see all the shoes that I do have all over on this side. So guys, starting at the very top right there, I have my boots. Uh, you can also see my uh, new cut Geiger heel right there. And all these shelves are uh, custom built for me, the whole closet. One shelf can hold up to four pairs only because I have small feet you can see my gorgeous red soles here I have my black and white boots moving on to uh, more boots that I love I just got the black one from Chanel right there then you will see favorites here again and you will see more boots here and there's a grey Zara heel that I like you'll also see my Manolos that I love and my sock boots right there at the bottom guys you will see boots now I also have these extenders at the top but I am really searching for the hooks on how to hook the top of these boots onto these uh, extenders so they can sit straight 
I know I can use magazines, uh, so I might have to use magazines now for now before I can actually purchase those. If any of you knows where I can get them, do let me know. Moving on guys, you will see some red soles right here. These are accent, uh, what are they called? My accent shells where I put my special shoes. Two gorgeous pairs are from Sade Saatchi, uh, collaborating with Christian of course. And then we have these gorgeous Zenotis and my favorite Pigal Folies in glitter gold. These are actually called, what are they called? I forget the name. They're called Dragonfly, that's correct. Boots and another silver Pigal Folies. Really beautiful, uh, very shiny. And then these are also the reversible sequins, as you will see right here. And then see my Gian Vito Rossi pairs right there that are at the top because I have not been wearing them so much. And then moving on here are Jimmy Choo's that I haven't worn in ages. There's a River Island pair that I love. There's more Jimmy Choo. And then here are some shoes that I bought in Bangkok. And then we have House of CB right here. And some Stephen Madden as well. And then here we have some Jimmy Choo, uh, my favorite Gucci black ones. Uh, yeah, more Jimmy Choo that I do like to wear right now, the black ones, the silver ones. And then here we have some black shoes. You guys saw these by uh, Caravella, Kurt Geiger, the really, really pretty pearl ones. And then these are my new uh, Christian Louboutins. Also these ones right here, they're the Galleria Hundreds. And then I have my Zanotti. The reason one shoe is missing is because it's in my suitcase. And down below I have these two black boots. Both are by Christian right there, but I do prefer one over the other. And of course, the printed version is a favorite. And then moving on guys, on this side, which is a bit hard to film, but you will see my sequin boots, thigh highs, denim thigh highs, and lots of other uh, daily wear boots. And lots of other daily wear, rain friendly and suede boots right at that end. This part of the shelf guys, I love my Spanish espadrilles. I got this in Madrid and they are so comfy. It's very rainy right now so I think these are perfect to wear in the summer. I have one here by Kurt Geiger. I have these blue ones from Madrid. I have some pumps, I love these. These are my oldest Gucci pumps ever. Then I have some white espadrilles as well there. The top I have some bling. I recently got this from Dune Mumbai. You may have seen this. House of CB of course. Or no, this was from Bangkok. And then we have some, yeah, Steve Madden right there. Up here is some Zenotis and some Steve Madden as well. These are Zenotis right here. So guys, this is what the clean out looks like. I'm much happier, although it's still full. I don't know, the Lord just keeps blessing me. I keep removing them and the Lord keeps blessing me. So guys, this is what the other side of my shoe closet looks like. I am trying my best to do this in slow motion so you can see it because last time, many of you told me you wanted to see all the shoes up close, which I am going to do for you. Every shelf. And this is just what this one looks like. So let's begin. Starting on the far right, you will see my uh, brooks right here. I'm also wearing one. Uh, my Nicholas Kirkwood right here. These are gorgeous, stunning shoes. I absolutely love mine. And these are from Zara, the brown and the black. Then I have some dune shoes right there. And... Um, these are all the silver Louboutins and then I have a Gucci pair right there, Mary Jane's. And moving on to more nude pairs. Uh, the one on the last right there, I should have worn more. I don't know why I haven't. But that's something I had featured in my birthday lookbook or something. And then I have more shoes here. All my nude favorites are right here from Choka Spikes at the end on the right. Lady Peep. Then we have Mega Vamp and so many more. Up more up ahead you will see white lots of amazing white shoes my favorites also 
that's fencing right there. This is Choka and those are some Sokates, I believe. We will see some black. Now, I don't know what those shoes are called. They were such an old buy. The grey ones with the black studs. The red ones are the Sokate and the rest of the two black ones are the Naughties. And right here I have gold uh, Sokates. Are those Sokates really? No, I think they're Follies. I have Leopard uh, Lady Peeps, Grey Lady Peeps. And then I have Mega Vamp. Are those Mega Vamp in red? Uh, no, I think they're called... Uh, I forget what they're called. The red ones. Then we have the red ones up there. And then you move down and you get the huge mighty black ones right here. Ali's favorite is right there in the center with the crisscross. And these are really high. Most 150 mm's are up there. And you come down to my favorite booties on the right. Uh, we have the very privé in the ombre colors. You have an old pigal in the black studs. And right here we have some more choker spikes. We have Escarpic in nude. We have Mega Vamp. And I forget what that, what that was called. And moving on, you can see uh, the Sister of Galleria. The really long nude ones. And then followed by those PVC Gian Vito Rossi's. And more chokas over there. And I believe those other gladiator types are called... What are they called? Oh my god, Sono. I forget what they're called. Okay, moving on down. These are some of my oldest pairs, but I really love them. We have Pigal Plateau in the blue and yellow. We have So Kate in the baby blue. Black in the baby blue, So Kate. And we have Eritza Pumps in the zebra and the navy blue. Or the bright royal blue. Moving on here, guys, you will see some really fun colors i love the pigal follies in the baby pink you will see the bright green ones so kate and the denim so kate's right there but my favorite have to be the ones on the right the very privé in denim peep toe followed by the top here we have orange this black gorgeous laser cut and some black really nice high shine embellished and white lace so Kate's by Giuseppe Zanotti's Harmony. I love these sandals so much. I used to wear them so much. And I have them in the nude, the gold, the silver, and the black. Moving on, we have more black shoes here. The Lady Peeps, the So Kate's, Pigal Plateaus. And then up ahead, we have some mega Lady Peep action going there. And yeah, really, really mega. The silver ones are So Kate's. The very top guys, I have my beautiful wedges by Christian, I have the Cataclo, I have Gucci's, um, what are those called? The gold heels that Ali hates. And then my really recent by the black tie-ups wedges. And then also another pair of black, uh, I forget what those are called as well. This is what the top looks like. In terms of shelving, I have one, two, three, four five and six all the way on both sides as you can see there are six of them in terms of shelving for just one half of the closet you will see i have six shelvings um, vertical and each shelf holds four shoes so six and then i have three columns so that's what it looks like so if i could just you know just try and show it to you in a better way you would kind of understand and then we have accents right here that are also six no these are five but they each hold two shoes we have these gorgeous carnival type shoes right here that ali bought me even the other pair i have these gorgeous pink shoes guys my favorite i have the zanotti unfinished sandal and i have christian's beautiful beautiful feather print not feather print feather fabric organza pink shoes right there and then this slogan i got life is short but buy the shoes shoes christian signed for me of course are very special i have them here the pink ones gorgeous ones these also come in a black and a white and of course his mount street the very very beautiful mount street shoe right here which looks 
like this. I love it so much. And this is what he wrote to me. Love those. And uh, he signed those too. Also, these are very stunning. The pink. They're the most gorgeous pink shoes ever. And yes, that's that for pink. And then down below, I have Lady Peep in a really shiny silver, extremely shiny 150mm. The only problem, I don't wear these uh, because they're a bit too tight. They're 35 and a half. So, yeah. So I cannot do away with them, but I don't wear them. A very recent buy you may have seen are these. They're called Spyco or Spyku. They're PVC with gold studs. Those are very, very recent. On the bottom, I have my gorgeous white pigal follies in lace. Um, that I got in Vegas and then of course my jersey vamp right here at 150mm silk ties by Christian and all his writing. On this side you will see all Valentinos. My first pair was a leopard one at a one inch height I think, then the nude one, then the black one, then the silver one. Next I have nude socates here. They don't belong here but no problem. Um, I have all Jonatinas here in a denim, in a silver that I wore in Vegas, a nude and a black. So all these are just Jonatinas. You will see my gorgeous, beautiful pink Gucci's, like the black ones. I love this new white pair of Gian Vito Rossi. The next one is blush. Then I have my Dior white ones. And I have another pair of Manolo Blonix right there in nude PVC. Going with the pink theme right here, I have my pink uh, Gucci uh, pumps right here. They're called the Margaret. Then we have gorgeous organ. Um, then we have this gorgeous Pigal Folies in the color. What was this color? I forget. These white gorgeous. Now these white gorgeous Pigal Folies, followed by Christian's latest baby pink sock boot, which I also have a black one of. Beautiful blue, I got that in New York. And even the next one, those are by Jennifer Lopez for... And these blue are by Jennifer Lopez for the naughty and then Kanye West. For the naughty, the cruel sandal and then one of my oldest pairs of the naughties I love are these black ones right here. Up here guys, I have some grey socades. I have those, oh my god, outrageous 150mm high platforms that I remember saying they belong I don't know they're for a certain profession they don't belong here they're up for sale anybody who likes them and then I have black really nice cute Mary Jane's right there I have some Gian Vito Rossi shoes right there in a gray and a black that looks like a jersey vamp or mega vamp on this side guys I have beautiful shoes from Steve Madden Aldo Another Steve Madden. I can see some Kurt Geiger right there. Followed by, this is where I keep my Indian shoes. Or not really Indian, but shoes I like to wear with my Indian outfits. You will see lots of gossip. Steve Madden, Aldo. And followed by some brown and black shoes by Aldo, which I really like. And then some of my latest buys on boots right here. You will see the Roxy Sandal in Denim by Giuseppe Zanotti and the half leather boot Kendra that also has an extending uh, sheath that goes over the knee and the thigh. Of course I have my most loving, trusted uh, black and nude pair of shoes, boots rather, for London or any cold weather. They are Stuart's Weitzman right there. I've just folded them over. You will see green Steve Maddens that I love in that lime color. A recent purchase, the Dune Silver ones. And those are some Aldo wedges and another flowery or floral pair from Bangkok. You will see more Indian style shoes. These I wear mostly with my Indian wear. But those gorgeous wedges, those are by, I'm sure they're by Jeffrey Campbell. So comfortable, so comfortable. So guys, that is actually the whole of my closet. Uh, you could have probably counted the shoes. I just cannot. But I really truly enjoy but I really truly hope you enjoyed this video of my updated shoe closet. And as I always say, life is short. Buy the shoes. So guys, that was it. I hope you really enjoyed 
my updated version of my shoe closet um, video and if you did do not forget to give this video a thumbs up share with your friends or shoe lovers like me and do not forget to subscribe and also press the bell button below to be notified every time I post a video which is twice a week and uh, yeah I hope you truly enjoyed this video life is short let's buy the shoes <laughs>